This is Spring Hill Adam on Diamond. Uh, you can see I just turned it blue and there's a little pop up. Uh, it's got a little castle thing next to it. It's got Koala Road and 20 or 225th Street South. Uh, here's the Yeah, you can probably see it now centered. I can draw closer. This is the uh, place, I guess, where you come and park. Because there's a sign uh, up at the top portion that uh, describes it as Adam on Diamond. And so this is most likely where tourists go and park and get a tour get told about how awesome it will be in the latter days with the second coming of Jesus. So, as you can see, there are no buildings. There really much is nothing. You can see the swervy lines of the gradation of the hillside. It's not a mountain. So, yeah, that's it. All right, Travis Wayne Goodsell. As I was checking the comments with the last video I did, uh, finding out that Wikipedia page has been changed for list of code names of the Doctor and Covenants, finding that it's still botched, I uh, responded to a commenter who wanted to know more about Oliver Cowdery's role with the, the beginning. Apparently he was unfamiliar with uh, the story of the Egyptian gold plates and uh, the uh, commandment not to sell them for riches. And uh, so I I gave him the obvious links that all Mormons and ex-Mormons know. So, uh, apparently I'm getting the attention of people outside of the church. Everybody but Mormon. <laughs> Unless I do a title that is Mormon friendly, Joseph Smith is not a witch. I'm getting the Mormons coming out to say, yeah, he's not a witch. <laughs> and then they leave. They don't bother to watch the video. <laughs> Crazy people. <sighs> All right. So let's go back. I'm going to decode first Adam on Diamond for you. Breaking news, this is special privileged information for those of you who watch my channel, or at least this video. Uh, there we go. Back to 117, section 117. <clears throat> and then I did a video segment just prior to this uh, with Adam on Diamond from the Google Maps. So, in verse 8, is there not room enough on the mountains, in the plural, of Adam on Di Amen? So, in the video, you can see no mountains. What's Joseph talking about? It's not that Adam on Di Amen. This is code, and we know it's code because, and on the plains of Olaha, Shinha. Shinha, we already know is a code, and we know from the BYU deciphers in the 1981 Doctrine and Covenants edition, it's also in the Book of Abraham, to help them. <laughs> it's the sun, or sun city as this is a location and 
it's uh, decoded as Kirtland, Ohio. But he's saying, let the properties of Kirtland in verse 5 be turned out for debts. And so he's not committing financial fraud with the bank failure, as people wrongly assume. He's literally trying to pay off the debts by selling the properties in Kirtland. And he's moved on to far west Missouri at this point. And he's already, uh, I think, 1838, didn't he already designate Independence, Missouri is uh, the center stake of his Zion. And then uh, Ad Adam on Diamond as Spring Hill, Missouri. Because I think section 116 is the Spring Hill sentence revelation. <coughs> and so Shinha is City of the Sun. But what's interesting is not only that it's a plural and it's referring to mountains, and that there's a plain, well, plains of Olaha Shinha. Shinha is Sun City. Amen. Sun God. Gone over that with you from Isaiah and Paleo Hebrew. Emmanuel. Remember? Matthew is told and quotes from Isaiah, doesn't call his name out, and then says his name shall now be called Jesus <laughs> rather than Amen. <laughs> you doing, Matthew? Are you coding your book, too? It's going to be a lot big disappointment for Constantinian Christians. And so, in order to decode Adam on Diamon, we already know Adam is a name. We know Amon is a name. We've got two names separated by Andai. And it's referring to mountains, not the mountain of Adam on Diamond, the mountains of Adam on Diamond. There's your initial clue without going to the key text that unlocks the code. To unlock the code, the church service missionaries back in 1981's edition which was during the 70s, depending on how long it would take them to. Uh, you know, they had Bruce Armaconky doing a lot, doing it fast, but uh, when I was doing it for the 2009 edition in uh, the early 2000 to 2004, uh, they were very surprised at how fast I was going and said that I was faster than Bruce Armagongi. So, a needle pulling thread. Let's see, we need to open, don't we? Browse. Stewart has a new song with three blondes, and they drive me crazy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Where are ya? Are you not in that? There we go. There we go. There we go.
uh, the document that I'm referring to comes from the Joseph Smith Papers. It's Joseph Smith, 19 July, 1840. And... There it is. There it is. And this was never put in our Doctrine and Covenants, though Joseph is referring to the Doctrine and Covenants that we do have a couple of sections. So why is this not added, Brigham? Is it because he calls you Judas down here at the near the end? <laughs> is that why? Why aren't the why isn't the church making light of this Doctrine and Covenant section and saying, hey, we're adding in the extra sections that did not make it up till this point? We've got them footnoted now. Why not? Why not? Would it have to do with anything about being a descendant of succession from Brigham Young? The Judas? Maybe. Alright. So, yeah, this is still in its raw form from the scribe. And it's female. This is. Uh, I don't have the name listed. The title of the thing. <coughs> and so, I. Uh, he. Let's see. Should I get to that first? Tease you? Martha Jane Knowlton Corre, assuming that's her name too. Unless Corre means something to do with B, because there's an A and a B. Yeah. Okay, he's talking about section 101's parable, starting in verse 43. The olive trees are 12 stakes which are yet to be built. But the church manual says that the olive trees are something else. They don't talk about what they are and say that we, the members, are the servants. That the prophets are not included in there. The prophets are missing, and the understanding of what the olive trees are, are missing. The Mormons are the servants who flee from apostasy, <laughs> and doubting, and questioning, and unfaithfulness. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. Uh, of Zion consists of North and South America, but that any place where the saints gather is Zion. And so he's adding multiple definitions, as that's what you'll hear Mormons use as an excuse. Oh no, we're just supposed to gather wherever we live in the world. <laughs> um... No, there's an exodus, and that's what our video is going to be about once I stop playing around with you. Uh, place of safety and refuge from coronavirus in the year 2020. Did you know he... Section 45, verse 31. He knew, and none of you listened or believed him. Uh, Twelve stakes are yet to be built, not the temple in Jackson, as some suppose. Where are they going to be built, Travis? <laughs> and so, we'll scroll back down. Uh, oh, yep. Yep, there it is. 
<laughs> there it is. But before this, the time shall be when these who are now my friends shall become my enemies and shall seek to take my life and there are those now before me who will more furiously pursue me more diligently to seek my life and be more bloodthirsty upon my track uh, than ever were the Missouri mobbers. You say among yourselves, pay attention, because this you have to have prerequisite knowledge from the gospel texts about a certain Last Supper, as <laughs> did them of old time, is it I, and is it I? <laughs> He called all twelve Judas. <laughs> he knew. And Brigham Young still went through with it and had him assassinated. A bastard. Bastard coated bastard. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the decoding of Adam on Diamond. Uh, da -da 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 -da, and so it's not Adam on Diamond. He says, not Jackson County either. It's not there. Independence, Jackson County, Missouri. Nope. Not it. <coughs> and... Yeah, there we go. I shall prophesy in the name of the Lord that the state of Illinois, not Missouri, shall become a great and mighty mountain. as a city set upon a hill that cannot be hid and a great candle that giveth light to the world. The city of Nauvoo also state of Illinois Nauvoo is in Illinois also what's missing shall become the greatest city in all the world. Did I pass it? Yeah, I did. It's in the previous previous chapter or paragraph. Uh, he's talking about building up Nauvoo and the lands round about for Zion and Jerusalem must both be built up before the coming of Christ. And then you see that she put a great and mighty mountain in the state of Illinois. Two cities great and mighty mountain. Two cities, great and mighty mountain for the state of Illinois. The mountain cities of Zion and New Jerusalem, which she's just calling Jerusalem. She didn't put new. Right there is the decoding of Adam on Amen. 
Zion, near Jerusalem. Zion, we see in Enoch, with the selections from the book of Moses, where Enoch gets his people to become Zion-like, calls the city Zion, and after 365 days, a calendar, or 365 years, and people are assuming it's a day, and blah, blah, blah. But, uh, yeah, it has to do with Thoth, adding five extra days to the religious calendar so that Nut can give birth to Horus, or not Horus, well, Horus the Elder, but Osiris and Set, who then uh, has uh, Osiris, uh, he technically was the farmer, Set was the keeper of the flocks, but the Bible switches it around and the roles are different. And so Set, Satan, murders Jesus to take over the throne as Jesus fails to establish the kingdom. But Jesus says, hey, I'm coming again in the latter days. <laughs> yeah, now you know where the Gospels came from, as well as the Old Testament Torah. <clears throat> but, uh, uh, yeah, Zion is uh, the code for Enoch City of Zion coming back. New Jerusalem is uh, Salem is peace. So who's the Prince of Peace? The Christ. Amen. Not Jesus. <coughs> and Yaru, uh, nobody knows what that is except for me because I deciphered Paleo-Hebrew. The J is the Y, which is the Yod, but that's Semitic. In Paleo-Hebrew, it's the Zeta of, of Greek, and it's the same pictorially with Zeus, the god, equivalent to uh, Amun. But uh, for the Jews, or the Hebrews, uh, it's Yah, but Yah is Semitic, and not uh, uh, Elo-Hebrew, it's Zah, and then the R is the uh, flag symbol with the Egyptian uh, in Paleo-Hebrew, and thus represents God, and so as it follows, it's for God, Yah, Amun, the sun god, the sun god of peace. So Zion is Adam, and Jerusalem is Amun, Adam on Diamond. There you go. I have now decoded it for you. It's in southern Illinois. Why would you say Southern Illinois, Travis? The whole state of Illinois is supposed to be the Great and Mighty Mountain, and Nauvoo is in the north. Why would you say it's in the south? They are in the south. Because you don't know the rest of the story. You've not been watching my videos. There was a city of the sun right down there in Southern Illinois by the sun god Indians or indigenous people I don't know why they are ashamed to be referred to as Indians there's nothing wrong with it <coughs> if they want to be designated as a collective then they need to tell us and indigenous is not correct because all the world has indigenous people Australia has indigenous people they're not Australian. Anyway, people need to lighten up. It's not offensive because they themselves call us the white men. 
I don't get offended. I'm supposed to be offended over white cracker. I don't understand why I'm supposed to be offended. Makes no sense to me. You know, if people are purposely doing it and they're showing their anger and mocking, then yeah, that's a good giveaway that they're bad people. But, uh, yeah, people need to lighten up. Because if I were to call a woman a woman, why are you getting offended? Because you're getting offended when Jesus calls his wife woman. Oh, he's a horrible man. <laughs> uh, Jesus is a horrible man? Yeah, he shouldn't call her woman. <laughs> She's his wife. She bore him children. She's, he's not going to call her maiden or virgin, depending on your translation desire. Anyway, I digress, don't I? So yes, the, the ancient inhabitants <laughs> who left right after the Knights Templar arrived there. The Knights Templar, Travis? Yes, in 1363 they arrived in America and purchased the whole land east of the United States. And came to this spot. And those residents abandoned the site. No more were they sacrificing like Abraham sacrificed Isaac to the sun god. They're gone. Nobody knows why. Happened to them? Where did they go? Checking my Amazon. Oh, they're four stops away. So I've now decoded it for you. So I think I'm going to do it again to you. <laughs> because this is already 26 minutes long. So I will then uh, do what I intended to do before these two other videos after this one maybe.